Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I present you guys with another Smogon video. Now, this video contains a suspect test that Smogon is putting on in the underused tier, and the Pokemon that they are suspect testing is Salamence. So, this right here does come as a little bit of a surprise to me, because for one, I didn't even see this coming, and number two, Salamence has been in the underused tier for quite a long time, and it's it's really strange how they are actually suspect testing it now of all times, but at the same time, I can kind of see why they are choosing to suspect it. So let's go ahead and read a little bit of this here. So let me see, you use suspecting Salamence, okay, fits on every playstyle, excelling its role at whether it is a fat defogger, mixed wall breaker, or a DD sweeper, that's Dragonance for those of you guys that don't know what DD is. Now that is true. Uh, although I don't see too many uh, defog salamence that run uh, defensive natures and all that stuff, it is possible, because think of it this way. Although it has base 95 in HP and 80 both in defense and special defense, you might think that it's not exactly suited to be a fat mon, you know, a defensive Pokemon, but the thing of it is, it is deceptively bulky. One of the reasons is because of the fact that it has Intimidate. Now, Intimidate drops the opponent's physical attack by one stage, making this Pokemon even more of an effective check to physical attackers. So, the thing of it is, is that with the combination of Intimidate, max HP investment with some defense investment, and maybe run a little special defense investment too if you want to have a little bit more uh, defense when it comes to taking special attacks, this Pokemon is really, really difficult to take down on the physical side if you're not running any Ice-type coverage uh, against Salamence in a 1 vs 1 situation. Now, with it being a mixed wall breaker, this right here has got to be one of the most deadliest sets to run on Salamence, because with the combination of base 130 attack, 110 special attack, and 100 speed, you could essentially run max special attack and run a little bit in uh, physical attack and most of it in speed. Scarf that bad boy and you have so much to choose from. You can choose Stab Draco Meteor, which although it lowers your special attack by two stages, it could essentially net you a KO and if you're running Moxie, that will boost your physical attack up by one stage, making your Stab Outrage even that much more powerful. And if that isn't bad enough, you can also run other coverage moves such as Earthquake and Fire Blast to take care of the likes of Steel-type Pokemon at, that would otherwise wall your Dragon-type moves. And the thing of it is, is that with those moves and those moves by itself, you essentially have perfect coverage. You'll be able to nail any Pokemon for at least neutral damage, if not super effective damage. Now, one uh, such difficulty that it does have in battle potentially is going up against fairy type Pokemon, which is immune to its dragon type stab. You might think that that right there is closing the book right there on Salamence. GG, that is it. There's no reason to suspect it because it can't spam Outrage. Well, the thing of it is, is while that might be true, the thing does have access to the likes of Iron Tail, which turns fairies into dust. So, just because Salamence has one of its types immune against fairy type Pokemon, doesn't exactly mean you should close the book on it yet, because it does have some tricks up its sleeve. Now, the Dragon Dance Sweeper, I almost don't even need, really, to explain further into it, because simply put, you run Moxie, you run Dragon Dance, which boosts the attack and speed by one stage, and you run things like Outrage, Earthquake, Iron Tail, or Aerial Ace, or something like that. Every single time you have to KO a Pokemon, and you have a high chance of doing so, Moxie kicks in, and your attack stat gets boosted up at one stage, so it essentially snowballs itself into an unstoppable killing machine. Not to mention, this thing can easily run a Scarf set too, which is a really, really big and decent possibility in my opinion, although I'm more of a Dragon Dance kind of guy, but that's just me. So, that right there, off the bat, with it being able to run a multitude of different tasks in battle, definitely gives it the unpredictability factor, which definitely restricts team building. So I can see where they're coming from here. Between Intimidate and Moxie, it can pick between checking physical attackers better and finding more setup opportunities or cleaning up more effectively. I kind of uh, went over that there real quick, so let's go ahead and move on. Its coverage ca causes it to have few reliable answers, often forcing one to play around it with the complex setups 
such as baiting it into outrage to revenge killing it with a fairy. Now that is true, and it very easily can be baited into using outrage, but if your opponent is able to, say, predict uh, a fairy switch in, it could use a different move that isn't resisted or immune against fairy type Pokemon, such as, for example, Iron Tail, which is super effective. Um, now, Iron Tail is a little bit shaky because it has base 75 accuracy, so that is a little bit annoying to deal with. But even still, though, uh, when it hits, it's going to hurt. So let's go ahead and move on to the last line here. While it offers too much to team building, it also places a heavy constraint on it, leading to this suspect test. Now, that is also true as well. Um, so, my question to you guys is, what do you guys think about this suspect test? Do you guys think that it should be banned? Do you guys think it shouldn't be banned? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments section down below, because there are reasons why it should be banned, reasons why it shouldn't be banned. You know, I want to hear from you guys, right? Um, this video isn't really meant to uh, go too in-depth in discussion with Salamence. I will do a follow-up video within the next few days to discuss it. Now, I know a little more about underuse, so I feel that I am a little more confident in my abilities to make an in-depth discussion video on Salamence and, you know, just uh, expand this conversation even further. But really, this video is meant just to be an update video and to let you guys know about what is going on and to spark up some discussion. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section down below. And, yeah, so with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you fire off a like. Let's see if we can aim for a modest 10 likes. Uh, I don't really expect videos like these to get too uh, too high on the ratings, but you never know. You never know. I mean, I know I said that in one of my videos, and my Alakazam video ended up just shooting up to like 30-some-odd likes, which I did not expect. So, I mean, if this ends up getting shot up as well, whew, I will be blown back. Of course, you guys always blow me back either way. So, <laughs> anyways... Uh, if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share this channel, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community for the best Pokemon Sun and Moon news hype that there is today on YouTube. Because you already know the deal by now, my friends, when we're a community type Pack Titan is one, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next up, whoa!